Yo, what's up guys? My name is the channel. Welcome to episode 47 of Game Programming. So yesterday we took an awesome look at finishing up the King Cherno Sprite and today we're going to take a different look at rendering it. Alright, so the way that we're currently rendering it, and I mean you guys aren't blind, you can see this shit. We're rendering it using basically what I like to call the quad render. I just made that up on the spot, I don't actually call it that. But um, we're, we're sort of rendering four different parts of it, four quarters, if you will, of the actual player. And of course, together they make up the, yeah, they make up the player, all right? Four quarters equals one. Um, so you can see here that the FPS drop isn't substantial. In fact, it's pretty much non-existent, right? We're not rendering too much here. We're not even rendering that many pixels to begin with. But we, we've got like a, a, a good deal going here, all right? So what we want to do next is render in one, in just just in one go. All right. So currently, we've got, you know, this render player method being called four times. Now, why is that? The reason that's happening is because our 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 tiles, I guess, our sprites, are sixteen by sixteen. If we go into sprite, you can see that the player zero, one, two, and three sprites, their size is set to sixteen. That means that the sprite is 16 times 16, 16 by 16. That's how many pixels are there. Now, if we beef that up to 32 by 32, it's going to encapsulate every single sprite in one go. Okay, 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 okay. Glad you guys get that. So, public, whoops, public static sprite player gonna call player because this is just all in one go equals new sprite now here I'm gonna put 32 and then over here now this is where it gets this is where it gets interesting because um because you guys might not um might not get this and this is where a lot of bugs I'm sure are gonna happen so let me just open up my uh my textures open with paint.net all right here we go so King Cherno right now such a boss sprite um, <clears throat> it's, it's located, right, we counted this last episode, it's located at, at 10 down. This is, this is the 10th tile downwards. This is the 10th sprite on the y-axis, right? This, this little beginning here. Now, that's when we're dealing with 16 size sprites, which is currently, which, it's currently the size of each cell. It's, each cell is 16 by 16 pixels. Now, what if we start doing 32 by 32, right? Because this is... Remember, the, the size that we're using now is 32, and if you actually look in the code, what it does is this X and Y, which tells our, our, our game the location of the sprite, that's getting multiplied by size. So if the size isn't 16, but it's 32, it's going to go down by 32. That's very important, all right? Get that, get that in your head right now. We're not counting down. Let me just get my little selecty thingy. We're not counting down this much anymore. One, two, or rather zero, one, two, three, four. We're going one, zero, one. Whoops, made a mistake there. <laughs> zero, one, two, three, four. And there we go, five. This is the fifth sprite down if we're dealing in 32 uh, pixel mode. All right, very important. That is why the number that we put here, well, it'll be zero here, but the number that we put here is not 10 like it is in the other ones, but it's essentially half of that. And the reason it's half of that, five, we actually counted that, but also because it's gonna be, it's gonna be since this gets doubled, the size gets doubled, this gets halved to, comp to compensate for it. If you guys need even more help understanding that, think of it this way. We're trying to find the pixel from where we start the sprite on the y-axis. If you multiply 16 by 10, the hell happened there? Honestly, what happened there? 16 times 10, 160, right? That's cool. Now, if the size is locked to 32, then we go 32 times five, and it's equal to the same to the same number, all right? That's how it works. If we need to increase the size, we need to diminish this little thing here to compensate for that, I guess. That's another little way of explaining it. Um, and obviously, it's going to use our standard sprite sheet dot tiles. All right, there you go. So now we've got the player. Great. If we go into this load thing, because I don't, I don't actually remember if we actually finished dealing with this. Um, in this little loady thingy, um. 
So it loads. All right, it's gonna load as for size. It's going to make pixels equal to. No, this is. This, I think this is compatible. Let's go back into the the uh, the screen class though. So the screen out job class. Let's just run it one more time so we can see what the game looks like. This is what the game looks like. Oh, it'll look exactly the same actually, but this is what the game looks like with um, four sprites being rendered, and we're running at about three and a half thousand FPS. Three thousand six hundred will give it. Um, okay, so render player. Currently, we're doing it in 16 size. Let's just get rid of that and type 32 instead, right? So 32, 32, and minus 32, and times 32. <laughs> and that's probably about it, <clears throat> all right? And then we'll go over here and in sprite, uh, sorry, in player.java, player um, we have this, uh, this sprite.player1. We'll get rid of all of these, just like that. Now we'll leave these here. We could have actually just made them part of this actually, but you know what, screw it. Um, we'll, we'll leave these here, but we'll change this to just sprite.player. And of course, sprite.player, if I control click, is our 32 size sprite. So let's go back to player.java. That looks pretty good actually. Let's test that out, see what we get. And look at that, blam. We've got a 32 size sprite rendering and it's running at exactly the same speed, all right? Now that's exactly why I wanted to prove to you guys that rendering things four times, it might, okay, it, it might be running like 2% faster, but just chill about that. Not even 2%, more like 0.5% faster. But anyway, the thing is, for those of you who are thinking that rendering something four times would be slow, no. <laughs> no, because in theory, it's rendering the same amount of pixels, okay? Yep, good. Now let's get rid of this bullshit and put in um x minus 16 and y minus 16. Now, 16 is... um. Obviously half of the size of the player. So we're sort of um, compensating for that and drawing King Cherno right in the middle. So yeah, that's how we do 32 size rendering of sprites. Pretty simple. Now the, the, the place where 32 um, size rendering actually gets a bit more advanced is in collision detection, okay? But um, we'll deal with that later. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, that like button is conveniently located right below the video. And um, that's about it, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, Sprite Animation. Later, guys. Bye.